Now that we're through the discussion of the interface, the toolbox, and the palettes on the right-hand side and so on, what I thought I would do is mention a couple of quick ways that you can work inside the Photoshop interface. And I think that you'll really like this, especially once you get more and more used to working inside Photoshop. So here's what I'd like you to try. Whether you have an image open or not, try this. Try hitting your tab key on your keyboard, whether you're on a Mac or a PC. And what that does is that temporarily disables the toolbox on the left hand side and the palettes on the right hand side and that option bar that was running across the top of the interface I'm sure you remember that guy so simply tab and then to bring everything back to life just hit tab again and we're back to where we started now why is that cool why is this useful well oftentimes I'll be zoomed in nice and close on an image maybe I'm doing some color correction or maybe I'm doing some cleanup or you know something like this and the interface is just too cluttered there's stuff in the way and I can't really see my image very well all I want is just a little bit of elbow room inside Photoshop so to get that extra elbow room all I'm gonna do is simply hit the tab key and now it's almost like I'm working in this it's almost like a full screen view isn't it now I have a lot of screen real estate here to work around inside my image and to you know manipulate my image and, and see what's happening and then bring everything back just by hitting the tab key again right so very cool now here's something else I want to bounce off of you as well maybe I want to work in more of a full screen capacity but I want to keep my toolbox turned on on the left hand side so in other words I don't want to turn off the toolbox I simply want to get rid of the palettes temporarily on the right hand side try this try holding down the shift key and then hit the tab key on your keyboard and what that will do is that will temporarily disable the palettes on the right hand side so I still have all of my tools available to me which is great but now I have sort of this larger screen real estate that I can take advantage of which is which is great shift tab to bring everything back on the on the right hand side so there you go there's a couple of neat options there for you and you know this almost goes without saying but I'm gonna bounce this off you as well this is kind of getting into the power user area of Photoshop but give this a try I'm gonna hit tab on my keyboard it turns everything off and then what I'll do is I will hit the H key on my keyboard and what that does is that flips me over to the hand tool so if I hit tab again just for a second to bring my toolbox back that actually flipped me over to another tool inside the toolbox so in other words while the toolbox and the palettes are turned off or visibly disabled I can still make use of all of my keyboard shortcuts I could hit the V key on the keyboard to switch to the move tool or L for the lasso tool or P for the pen tool which is very cool I'll go back to my move tool just by hitting V here or give this a try I'm gonna try hitting F7 on my keyboard and that'll bring up my layers palette for me this is something that I haven't mentioned yet but a lot of your palettes inside Photoshop have keystroke equivalents as well so you can hit F7 for your layers if you want try hitting F8 for your info palette or hitting F8 once again will disable the info palette hitting F7 again will disable the layers palette and so on now again I don't know them all but I know the ones that I use most often I just hit F6 on my keyboard and that was for the color palette oftentimes though I make use of my layers palette and again that's F7 so there you go there's lots of neat ways to work here inside Photoshop I just hit tab here again to bring everything back to life and we're ready to continue on